Welcome back to Solve It with Sir Jude. Today, we will be discovering the relationship of the coefficients to the roots of quadratic equations. Or in short, we will be discovering how to solve for the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equations. So this topic is still based on the most essential learning competencies na bigay ng DepEd. So, ano ba ang ating objectives for today? So, at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to find the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equations. So, when we talk about sum and product of the roots of quadratic equations, yung sum of the roots usually denoted siya by r sub 1 plus r sub 2. And in other books, x sub 1 plus x sub 2. While for the product of the roots, that will be r sub 1 times r sub 2, or x sub 1 times x sub 2. So, kapag sum, kaya nga sum, we need to add the roots. Kapag product, we just need to multiply the roots. So, let us have example number 1 para at least magkaroon tayo ng background kung papaano ba kinukuha si sum and product of the roots. So, let us find the sum and product of the roots of x squared plus 9x plus 14 is equal to 0. Sa una, pwede nating isipin na sum and product of the root. So, therefore, kailangan ko munang uh, alamin kung ano yung values ni x or yung solution or yung roots ng given equations. Okay? So, pwede naman yun. So, let us do that. x squared plus 9x plus 14 equals 0 is factorable. Okay? So, the first thing that we should do is to factor x squared. Ano bang factor ni x squared? So, that will be x times x. Next, we should think of factors of 14, itong last term na to, kapag inad naman natin at the same time, magkakaroon ng positive 9. Or product of 14, dalawang number pag may multiply 14. At the same time, kapag inad natin, 9 ang lalabas, positive 9. So the numbers are 7 and 2. So to check, 7 times 2, that will give us 14. At the same time, 7 plus 2, that will give us 9. So, what will be the factored form since nakuha na natin yung factors na 7 and 2? So, the factored form of this equation will be x plus 7 since positive yung 7 and then the other one is x plus 2 since positive yung 2. Katulad ng ginagawa natin sa solving quadratic equations by factoring, since na nasa factored form na siya, we will now be using our zero product property. So, each of the factors will be equated to 0. So, the first factor, x plus 7, equated to 0, that will be x plus 7 equals 0. The second factor, x plus 2, equated to 0, that will be x plus 2 is equal to 0. Dito muna tayo sa unang equation na x plus 7 equals 0. So, we need to find the values of x. So, in this case, si plus 7, ilipat lang natin siya, si positive 7. So, using addition property, subtraction, or uh, transposing the term, the first value of x will be negative 7. And then, for the second value of x, we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. The second value will be x is equal to negative 2. Thus, we obtain the solutions or the roots negative 7 and negative 2. Ngayon, nakuha na natin yung solutions or yung roots ng quadratic equation. Papaano naman natin kukuhain yung sum and product? Remember na sum and product ang tinatanong sa atin. So, to get the sum and product, so sum muna tayo. We just need to add the roots. Okay? So, x sub 1, that is the first root, plus x sub 2, that will be the second root. Since sum siya, we need to add. So, that will be negative 7, the first root, plus the second root, which is negative 2. So, therefore, the sum of the roots will be negative 9. Same way with the product of the roots. So, pag product naman, x sub 1 times x sub 2. Or it can be r sub 1 times r sub 2. So, the first root which is negative 7 times negative 2, that will give us positive 14. Okay? So, ayan, nakuha na natin yung sum and product. Pero, this is the long method. Kasi, sinold muna natin yung, yung equation to get the values of x or the roots. And then, get the sum and the product. Well, in fact, we can use a formula. So, for the sum, we just need to get negative b over a of this equation. So, kailangan muna natin yung values ni a, b, and c dito, no? And then, for the product, that will be c over a. So, let us check. So, kailangan, 
yung makukuha nating sum and product dito will just be the same doon sa nakuha natin sa nauna. Okay? So, let us apply negative B over A for the sum. So, remember na when we are substituting values, we will be enclosing them with parentheses para hindi tayo malito. So, let us have negative B. So, the value of B here is positive 9 over A which is 1. Walang katabi si x squared, so automatic, 1. So, that will be x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative of 9. So, this is the value of B divided by the value of A which is 1. So, if we are going to simplify this one, we have it as negative 9. And if we are going to compare the shortcut and the long method, they are just the same. Okay? So, let us now have the product. C over A naman tayo. For C over A, the value of C here is 14. While the value of A is 1. So, that will be 14 divided by 1, which will give us 14. And if you can see, they are just the same. Okay? So, kahit anong gamitin mo, yung long method or yung formulas na to, they will be arriving at the same answer. So, saan ba natin nakuha si negative B over A at saka si C over A? So, let us now derive. So, etong si sum at saka si product, ang pinagmulan niyan doon sa pagkuha ng root using quadratic formula. Since may positive and negative dito na value ni square root of B squared minus 4AC, paghiwalayin natin sila. And those will be considered as X sub 1 and X sub 2. Okay? So, since sa sum muna tayo, we will be adding the 2. So, ito yung una plus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A sum. So, add natin siya doon sa isa pang root which is negative B minus B square, square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Now, the fractions are similar since they do have the same denominators. So, we can combine the two. Ayan. O, i-add na natin. And if you can see, we can cancel positive square root of B squared minus 4AC and negative square root of B squared minus 4AC. Kasi zero naman sila. Okay? So, ang natira na lang sa atin will be negative B plus negative B all over 2A. Which will simplify as negative 2B over 2A. Kapag sinimplify pa natin to, that will result to negative B over A. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng formula na negative B over A in getting the sum of the roots of quadratic equation. Papaano naman kapag ka product? So, same din. Gagamitin din natin yung uh, sa quadratic formula wherein we will be separating the values of x. Yung x sub 1 times x sub 2 naman ngayon kasi product. O, ayan. So, if you can see this, um, this will examine sum and difference of two terms. Okay? So, pag ganun, we will just need to apply, multiply the first terms. Ayan. Negative B times negative B, B that will give us B squared. Okay? So, negative times negative, that will be positive. Next, this two, positive and negative yung sign. So, therefore, di ba ang resulta dapat neto ay difference of two squares? So, minus na yan. Ano ngayon yung isa pang expression na ilalagay natin dito? Square root of B squared minus 4AC times square root of B squared minus 4AC will just be equal to B squared minus 4AC. Okay? And then, all over 4A squared. Bakit naging 4A squared? 2 times 2, that will be 4. A times A, that will be A squared. Next, si negative, since minus to, we will be changing the sign of the subtrahend. So, that will be B squared minus B squared plus 4AC. Okay? Or kaya, i-distribute lang natin si negative dito sa mga terms inside the parentheses. So, therefore, magbabago ng sign. And if we are going to simplify the equation, so that will be B squared minus B squared will be 0. So, ang natira, 4AC all over 4A squared. Cancel natin si 4 since 1 lang naman yan. So, if we are going to simplify this one, AC over A squared will just be equal to C over A. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng formula sa product of the roots as C over A. So, after nating maderay, let us now go to example number 2 using the formulas that we derived. So, find the sum and product of the roots of x squared minus x is equal to 6. So, the first thing that we should do is to rewrite this one in standard form. Okay? 
So, si x squared minus x is equal to 6. Si 6 kailangan nasa kabilang side ni equation. So, let us transpose or apply the addition and sub or subtraction property of equality. So, if that will be the case, it will now result to x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Since naka-standard form na siya, step number 2, we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. Remember, kailangan natin silang i-substitute doon sa mismong formula. So, for x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0, the value of a is 1, the value of b is negative 1, ayan, as seen. Next, the value of c is negative 6. We will now go with step number 3. So, step number 3, we need to find the sum and the product of the roots out of the given values of a, b, and c. We just need to substitute. So, ito yung sum, ito yung product. So, isa-isayin natin. Just a reminder, when we are substituting the values to the, to the given formula, we will be enclosing them with parentheses para hindi tayo maguluhan. So, to substitute, the value of b is negative 1 and then the value of a is 1. So, it would be negative times the value of b negative 1 all over 1. If we are going to simplify negative times negative 1, this will result to positive 1. So, positive 1 divided by 1, so that will give us positive 1. Okay? So, we are through with the sum of the roots. Next, how about for the product? So, c over a lang yan. The value of c here is negative 6 divided by the value of a which is 1. So, this will be the result. So, negative 6 divided by 1 will now give us negative 6. So, therefore, the sum of the roots of x squared minus x equals 6 is 1, while the product of the roots is negative 6. So, ganun lang siya kadali. So, let us now go to example number 3. So, this one. Find the sum and the product of the roots of 3x squared is equal to 18x. So, step number one ulit tayo. We need to rewrite the equation in its standard form. So, if you can see the equation is not yet in its standard form, kailangan pa nating ilipat si 18x sa kabilang side ng equation. So, to do that, we will be applying your addition property or subtraction property or just transpose. So, the result will be 3x squared minus 18x is equal to 0. So, step number two, since na... Uh, rewrite na natin siya in standard form. We need to identify the values of a, b, and c. So, this is the equation. The value of a is 3. The value of b is negative 18. And then, the value of c is 0. Since wala naman siyang constant term. So, after we get the values of a, b, and c, the next thing that we should do is to find the sum and the product of the roots. So, this is for step number 3. So, out of the given equation, we had identified the values of a, b, and c. So, for the sum, we will be using negative b over a. And for the product, we will be using c over a. So, dito muna tayo sa sum. We will be substituting the value of b, which is negative 18, and then the value of a, which is 3. So, upon substitution, we will obtain negative times negative 18 all over 3. So, negative times negative 18, that will result to positive 18. So, positive 18 divided by 3, it will now give us positive 6. So, next, for the product, that will be C over A. So, the value of our C is 0. And the value of our A is 3. So, if we are going to substitute, that will be 0 divided by 3. So, 0 divided by 3, the result is 0. So, therefore, the sum of the roots of the equation 3x squared equals 18x is 6 while the product of the roots is 0. So, let us now go to example number 4. For example number 4, we are given with 4x squared equals 8, and we need to find the sum and the product of the roots. So, first step, we are right in standard form. 4x squared is equal to 8 is not yet in standard form. Ilipat natin si 8 sa kabilang side ni equation. So, if that will be the case, the result will now be 4x squared minus 8 is equal to 0. So, this equation is already written in standard form. So, we will now go with step number 2. So, step number 2, identify the values of a, b, and c of the given quadratic equation. So, the value of a here is 4. The value of b, since walang linear term, 0. While the value of c is negative 8. So, ayan, a equals 4. 
B equals 0, C equals negative 8. Next, after getting the values of A, B, and C, step number 3 na agad tayo. Find the sum and the product of the roots. So, out of the values A, B, and C, na given kanina at nakuha na natin, we will now be applying negative B over A for sum of the roots, while C over A for the product of the roots. So, substitute lang natin. The value of B is 0, and then the value of A is 4. If we are going to substitute, we will obtain negative of 0 over 4. So, negative 0 over 4 is just equal to 0. So, therefore, the sum of the roots of our given equation is 0. How about for the product? We just need to substitute the values of A and C. So, the value of C here is negative 8, while the value of A is 4. So, if we are going to substitute, we will obtain negative 8 over 4. So, negative 8 divided by 4 will give us a quotient of negative 2. So, therefore, the sum of the roots of 4x squared equals 8 is 0, while the product of the roots is negative 2. So, it's your turn. Find the sum and the product of the roots of the following quadratic equations. So, we are given with the following quadratic equations. So, apat to. So, pause the video and try to answer the following items. So, ang kasudod na nito will be our answer key. So, what are your answers? So, tingnan natin kung tama ba yung nakuha mong sagot. So, these are the answers. So, for number 1, the sum is 7, while the product is negative 8. For number 2, the sum is 0, while the product is 49. For number 3, the sum is 1 half, while the product is negative 1 half. For number 4, the sum is 3, and the product is 0. So, kung natuto ka dito sa video lesson na to, please like, subscribe, and hit your notification bells for more video lesson. Ang kasunod naman nito will be finding the quadratic equation using the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equations. See you again next time here in Solve It with Sir Jude. Good day!